I did say something special was coming up and it is indeed. But first of all, if you don't know, we've got Tom here on my left. He might be back. He is back. By popular demand with my fan club. <laughs> yeah, Tom's fan club, okay. If you don't know, Tom's fan club is currently at two. Two. And I think one of those might have been you, but I can't prove it. Um, so in the Lions videos... Uh, I think the other was my mother. <laughs> in the Lions videos, yeah. Tom was here as our selector, so he's back. He promises to bring not only insights, but a joke every session. So, I don't know. Who knows? So, yeah. Comment below if you want to join his fan club. We shall see. On my right we've got Skippy. Or comment if you want me removed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Okay, guys, the boys just want a bit of a Southern Hemisphere Australian take, so that's my purpose in life, and also to try and laugh at Tom's jokes. I'm trying my best, yeah. but it's really hard at the moment. Yeah, yeah. well, it's hard for everyone's game. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling, you know? He was the best actor we could find with an Australian accent. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> enough of that. The big session is today is that the man himself, Eddie Jones. Yeah, yeah seriously. One of my boys. Indeed, he came down to visit us and he did some coaching with our boys, uh, which is pretty awesome, last night actually. Um, so we're just going to talk about that, I'm going to play some of the clips, I've got permissions from the relevant bodies, RFU, parents, all of that sort of malarkey, so don't worry there. Um, and just talk about some of the things we can take away from the session and some of those, those truths. So let's just have a few little we'll look at the clips and then we'll chat in between those. Okay, guys, I think one of the main things, guys, I took away from that is just some good, solid basics of coaching. He pitched it at the right level, and it was 40 minutes of flat out really hard work. You know, I don't know what you guys think, but you know, he's very much, he was saying, look, how long are your coaching sessions? 40 minutes, 45, as in any longer, and you know, you're not achieving anything. I think the Australian rugby has always been evasive rugby. Rugby isn't yeah. a game where it's just contact, contact all the time, it's an evasion game. The reason why, say, Kiwis are so good and they turn us over, left, right and centre, is because it's evasion. And as an Aussie, I can openly admit that. Well, you talk about that, Skippy, turning over, and I thought it was interesting, um, Good point. Every single time he restarted the play, and I've seen him when he coaches England, he always chucked the ball in behind. It was always turnover, counter attack, chase, work to get in position. I agree. You know, it was nothing mm. was easy. Change the drill now slightly. Really what Eddie was doing in this, this session was initially working with options with the ball carrier. I mean, and I think it's good, it doesn't really matter what your structure is, mm. whoever the ball carrier is, they need options. They need as many options as possible when proactive options. And that's what he was hammering in, and he was stopping it and turning the ball over when there wasn't enough options. And I think, that, I think that's just such a great message. Um, and then he started to develop it into to the continuity, put the continuity into it, popping off the floor, and also, and then he added in for a third layer, working off the ball and that can mean many different things but what he was trying to get in was following the pass so if a player made a pass and stood and watched it and didn't get back into a position to offer something he would stop and turn it over speed Right, 
Offside, mate. Stay on side. I'll put you in the bin. <laughs> One of the other things was very much he was praising when people were trying, and this is a really good thing for just coaching in general. You praise the effort, the correct you know, intent, you know, ideally you want it to succeed, but it, you know, it's much better trying and failing than just sitting back and not trying at all. Mm -hmm. and, uh, right. you know, but there is a, there is an element that we don't want to praise poor performance at the same time. And so there is a little bit to weigh up because the thing of unlucky, etc. Yeah. I don't want to hear that, you no. know, and it's got it's to be, be done white, in the right it? way. Yeah. yeah, true. Yeah, so it's a real tricky balance, isn't it? But it's certainly, especially when you're trying to build a session and you're trying to get your points across, that, that first moment someone mm. tries to do the right thing, maybe that's when to jump yeah. on and say that's good. Yeah. But then at some point... Oh, you know, so there, how can we develop it? What yeah. can we do? Can you make it back in back out? Go, 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 Yeah, he came, came down by himself, just yeah. came down the motorway by himself, no entourage, just normal guy, very much, you know, what you see is what you get, um, and just, you know, gave his all mm. for, you know, an hour, and uh, just gave some really valuable, you know, bits. What about Celia? He must be close to Twickenham. I don't know where he lives. <laughs> Why don't you know where he lives? I don't know where he lives. Well, it's only an hour, isn't it, down the motorway, yeah. so he can come down next week. Yeah, he can come down there yeah. any time he wants. Mate. Yeah, that's yeah. no, good news. It's interesting, it was just, he was talking about the England team a little bit, he was giving a bit of banter to some of them, we won't say who, talking about skill and handling, but you know. Uh, but what he was looking for, one of the good questions from the guys is, what do you look for in players? And like I said again, it was skill, it was... Um, work off the ball, that work rate and pace, because the game is fast, yeah? Mm -hmm. Every game you see, whether it's New Zealand, to the way Ireland play, you know, everyone's trying to play fast, whatever they're trying to do. And if, mm -hmm. if you play fast, opportunities open up, and then you need the skill to... I think mm -hmm. rugby skill set is there, but fitness is a lot of it as well, because I say, you play against teams, it could be, like I say, amateur pro level, the fitness has to be there. If your fitness isn't there, then you're going to struggle. Let's keep going for another 10 minutes. Yeah. 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 All right? Yeah. Let's see 10 minutes, see what level we can get to. Yeah? yeah. All right? Let's go. Push the shot! Push! 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 Every time the well, that's good. Oh, 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 work up it. Yeah. Good. Back and forth. Come on, 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 once again, thank you very much for Eddie Jones coming down and uh, giving us that coaching session, some valuable insight and uh, uh, something that the, the boys will take mm. away for the rest of their lives. Um, and next time we come back, we'll actually have some rugby for you. We'll start picking some sides for the Autumn Internationals. If you think you want to join Tom's fan club, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't, let us know. Um, or let us know in another video. There's no comments on this yeah. video for obvious reasons. Uh, but anyway, guys, until next time from it's us. It's been a joy to be back. Thanks for having me. It's been a joy for somebody. Thank Absolutely. you. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Horse as well. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Yeah, we do our bit. We do our bit. <laughs> okay, until next time, we will see you then. Ciao. Ciao.